it's Crafty Cat, and today I'm gonna be attempting to make a crepe cake. So, if you couldn't tell, this is not my kitchen. This is not my house, actually. I am way far away from my house. That didn't make any sense. Way far away? I'm. I am far away from my house. Yeah. Yeah. Technically, I guess I'm on vacation, but I'm just staying at my grandparents house. So I don't know if that's vacation It is March break right now. You're definitely not gonna see this when it's March break But it is March break right now and I'm at my grandparents house. I just said the exact same thing twice I'm sorry. I've seen a couple of these videos going around like people testing other people's recipes I'm pretty sure this was like a trend like a long time ago But I'm deciding to do it right now because I have a kitchen to myself yeah, I have all of my ingredients over here. I'm gonna do an aesthetic montage. Let's jump into that. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm not okay. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really tired. Watch this vlog. Watch, yeah, vlog. It will explain everything. <laughs> recipe called for it. You can't see. I'm gonna tip this up. There we go. So these are all the ingredients that the recipe called for, except for one thing that they don't have here. Flour, which is quite a big thing in crepe recipes. They only have whole wheat flour, and you need white flour, or the recipe called for all-purpose flour, but they don't have that, so <laughs> I hope this doesn't fail. Oh, also I need a bowl, so I need to move these anyway. totally sets off the color balance. That's great. Okay, so I got a bowl that is not blue, so it doesn't mess up the color balance of this video. It's wet because I had to wash it, and then I have my green, oh, this spatula is dirty. I have a green spatula right here. I'm very sorry about this angle. It's like impossible to film here. So yeah, let's just get started with it, shall we? Oh my gosh, who am I? Okay, first ingredient in the recipe says a half a cup of water. Wait, which one's half a cup? I think this one's half a cup, but it's completely melted, so yeah. Okay, that's half a cup of water. Next, it needs one cup of milk. Milk and water, delicious. Next, four large eggs. I never understand why recipes are like four large eggs. Like, how can you tell what's a large egg, you know? I feel like four eggs is a lot, but maybe that's just me. Now I'm gonna dump these in the compost. Now it says, it needs four tablespoons of butter melted, so I'm just gonna melt four tablespoons of butter. Why do I keep repeating myself in this video? This says one tablespoon, and then this one says four tablespoons, I think. Actually, you know, I'm gonna Google how much four tablespoons is in cups, because I'm dumb and I don't know that, and I don't wanna scoop out butter that is rock solid into this tiny measuring cup. So be right back after this quick commercial break. I'm just kidding, my channel isn't monetized and there are no ads on this and I am making no money, so <laughs> have fun watching it. 0 0.25, what does that even mean? I have no idea, okay. <laughs> 0 0.2, I'm giving up on Googling that. I'm just gonna have to try to scoop this out. My brain just had a genius idea. Yep, that's my brain. Um, melt the butter and then pour it into this. I am so smart. <laughs> Butter. 
that was definitely more like like five tablespoons and I still have some left over. Next it says all purpose flour and then in quotations measured correctly. So hopefully I'll measure this correctly. And this is where I'm scared that it's gonna go wrong because the recipe said all purpose flour and I'm using whole wheat. My bud here. I was gonna use this. I feel like this is defeating the point of this. Hopefully I measured that correctly. It says is two tablespoons of granulated sugar. I have granulated sugar right here and I have a tablespoon measuring spoon it's dirty but that's okay one I'm just realizing that chunky sugar is probably not a good idea so I'm gonna stick the second one Got everything in there and then the last ingredient it says is a pinch of salt so I'm assuming that's a pinch I don't know why did they say a pinch like it obviously doesn't have to be exact because no one pinch is exactly the same okay so now I'm just gonna mix this all together this looks disgusting Wow yum for a second there, I thought he didn't have a whisk, but um, yep, they do. I feel like I should put this through a strainer or something. Is that too extra? I'm not sure. You know, this is not what it should look like, is it? No, you gotta add more flour. It needs to get like, sifted, but I don't know where a sieve is. for pulling. <laughs> well, I'll see you in a bit then. Bye. Okay, so I am back. I thought that we were just gonna have to leave it as this chunky, disgusting mess, but my grandpa called and he told me where the sieve was, so <laughs> I found one. Do you think this will fit in there? I hope so. So it's formed kind of a dough at the bottom and I don't think <laughs> This is a lot smoother and it looks a lot better. It still isn't the proper color because it's made with whole wheat flour. So the batter is done. I'm going to set up the stove, change angles, and start frying these babies up. So I have this frying pan here and I'm gonna put some butter, the pre-melted butter, because I am pretty sure it's gonna stick. So I have my pan right here and I'm gonna just start cooking them up. to cook for but it's taking quite a while so <laughs> Now this is later when I actually got the crepes done. Now in that last clip, it probably seemed like I would have never made a good crepe in my life, but I actually did it and they looked really good. I just made some ganache, which if you want a recipe for that, I will link one down below. And then I just smeared it all over, layered the crepes, and this is what it looked like when it was done. It looked super ugly, I have to admit. I didn't really finish the top or anything. I could have put ganache on the top, but I was at this point really lazy. But look at those layers. Those are some beautiful layers. It turned out really, really well, actually. It tasted super good. I was actually really surprised. It wasn't soggy. It was really good. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And don't forget to comment down below with the hashtag crafty shout out mm -hmm. if you would like a shout out in one of my videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!